Okay. 2.761. Less dog. The Dynabolts are in. Not so successful. I had to smash them with a sledgehammer. Hate them. This, this is the Merbu laminated post, which apparently is quite strong. So you end up with something like this. This is the six meter long, 240 by 45. Treated pine, you've got these screws which come standard and all these things. They're not dressed to be outdoor stuff, but I'm just gonna take a little bit of this off with a We'll put the braces in place. Keep the post braced on both sides because otherwise you'll end up with a big wobbly mess. So this is a lamination process, putting another 240 by 45, cutting a piece there, bolting it, screwing it into the, the overhang, and we'll be doing the same for the rest of the beam. The first part is laminated and then we continued on and did the second part putting through cuphead bolts and some hexagonal screws and should alleviate any cupping now. Because I had to lift this last beam into place myself, it had to be cut in the centre. So to support the centre I'll put a double heavy duty galvanised T bracket in there. This is a 6 metre, 18 foot, 19 foot ledger. So I've just put all the joist hangers in place. Ledges in place, get the beam, put in a marker, post here, strap one on there, strap one in the middle, strap one on the end. Let's check the distance from the beam to the three up right here at the front of the post. We'll check the distance at the beam, front of the beam. One side, 2715, we've got to check the other side. Some of the rafters, getting them ready. I'm planing one side, which is the underside, to get rid of that ribbing that's on the treated pine and get rid of some of the crap that's on it, like these, for some reason, I don't know why, why would they put the manufacturers to go and stamp green dye all over it with their, what the product is. It shows up underneath the stain. I jumped ahead of myself a bit and I bought the rafters a bit too early so I stained them twice and in between the stains that were dry and then stack them and make them tight so they don't uh, cup and twist around here in the shade normally. The rafters, the ends have been measured up, I angled it, used the drop saw and cut it off, marked it which way is up in the number and at the other end allowed about a foot, about 20 centimetres or 15, 13 inches and ready for the dovetail. This end will be the dovetail. So I've already cut it the same angle here as up the other end. So it's Line them up already for their two coats of stain. Making slow progress with the noggins. Put the hexagonal screws in, making sure the knee joint has got to go in here just to give it some stability. Takes the pressure off the back ledger there.
bore two holes here, two holes up there for supporting, put the long shank screws in. Okay, project is finished. The grapevines have been planted in place in the two planter boxes here and some strings being put up for it to climb up into the rafters. Also put some string on top for the vines to climb around.